전화 받았어. 안녕하세요. 늑대기 팀의 대장인 크레이너 씨죠? 용케 전파가 잡혔군요. 지금 지하에 계시다고 들었는데. 벌처스 제품 중. <웃음> 역시 우리 벌처스는 대단하다니까요. 내 현지 위치를 아는 걸 보니 당신이 봉시형 감시관인가 보군. 맞아요. 이제부터 당신이 대장으로 있는 늑대계 팀을 한동안 감시하고 통제하게 됐어요. 늑대계 팀은 현재 전력의 대부분에 상실한 상태예요. 지난번에 그 사건 때문에 말이죠. 전력이 부족해진 결과 대장인 당신은 대원들과는 다른 임무를 진행하게 됐어요. 저는 당신 대신 현장에 나가서 늑대계 팀을 통제하게 됐고요. 계획의 원활한 진행을 위해 어쩔 수 없이 취한 조치예요. 그러니 너무 섭섭하게 생각하지 마세요. 섭섭하게 생각한 적 없어. 우리는 지시에 복종할 뿐이고. <웃음> 듬직하군요. 그나저나 지금 대원들의 파일을 확인 중인데 아, 벌써부터 위가 안 파오네요. 많은 처리 부대를 감시해봤지만 이 정도 골칫덩이들을 다뤄보는 건 저도 처음이에요. 게다가 진심인가요? 사건의 원흉인 차원종을 임시 대원으로 쓰겠다는 것 말이에요. 일시적인 조치. 상비 허가는 받았어. 뭐 회사의 방침이 그렇다면 저도 따르죠. 원활한 통신을 위해 최신의 뻐꾸기를 지원해드리겠어요. 감시관으로서 내리는 첫 번째 지시예요. 뻐꾸기를 이용해 늑대계 팀의 대원들에게 즉시 강남으로 집합하라고 지시해주세요. 그리고 저도 그들의 실력을 알고 싶어요. 그러니 오는 길에 강남 근처에 출연한 차원종들과 가볍게 교전을 치르라고도 전해주세요. 지시에 따르겠어. 안 그래도 막 이쪽도 계획이 1단계가 끝난 척. 흠, 마음의 안전 없구나. 인간 따위와 손을 잡게 되다니. 마음이 안 들긴 이쪽도 마찬가지다. 차원정. 그리고 우리 팀이 제일 부이지. 얘는 귀인의 명령에 복종한다. What's up, guys? I am here with another character. Dean Communication, nice to meet you. I heard you're the close supervisor brought in to help the straight up. Is this correct? <laughs> That's right, pleased to meet you too. And you don't have to be so formal with me. I may be a close, but I'm still part of this unit. Alright, then I'll take. It'll make it easier for me to give out orders. Treat you as one of our operatives from now on. Let's. Oh, just all kicks. I like this character. Oh yeah, these flow smooth. Is this all you have? This is really boring. Oh, does she have an ability to heal or something? What does this do exactly? Draw. Throws a card at enemies in front of you. The card explodes on contact. Inflict the damage on an enemy and into your sight. Alright, ground, HP plus 2. Fade force. Plus 7%. Spade, air. Okay. That's interesting. Looks like I'm tied down. 
Be cool, there's a way to get out of a sexy situation. Yeah. I feel like I need to go through every one of these characters for these, um, for the, um, was it Stray Dogs? Is that their team? Follow up attacks may halt the first attack animation, but not the damage. Oh, that's a straight attack. Oh, okay, so you change the direction by using the arrow key, okay. Usually by default, it'll, um, it'll go back and forth. My rank is 220. All right. I think this is great. You all will get to see all the stuff that I'm doing. Oh, the depressing music is back. Oh, man. Jail Conversion Season 1. Now, I don't know about Jail Conversion because um, I haven't been on here quite a bit, so it's so something that's just new, honestly. And each character has a different way that they are talked to also all right so i already know all this you've probably seen this already level 10 Ugh. now i just got to get her up to level 75 which is gonna be a little bit difficult then you got harpy still the show level of harpy for rewards and it's i think uh yeah harpy Reach level 20 with Harpy before Tuesday, May 29th, which is two days for two days for me. 500 EMP and a shark costume accessory. Which she, which this picture she looks like uh, Midnight from My Hero Academia, but um, more clothes on. So what I'm going to be doing is getting that costume because I want it. You must have arrived at the site. I heard you're the closest supervisor brought in to help out with the wolf dogs is that right i'm trainer commander of the of the wolf dogs from now on your code name is harpy remember that okay nice to meet you harpy trainer but can i get a different code name something classier code names are just used to identify members they don't have to be classy if you really don't like it i can always change it to a number oh no thanks harpy it is good you're dispatched from a different unit but you're a wolf dog as long as you're here and i'm your commander i expect your loyalty and absolute obedience <laughs> you're merciless aren't you i thought you go easy on me since i'm from a different unit Gentlemen, don't mistreat women. Sorry, but I'm not a gentleman. I'm your trainer. Now, here's my first instruction for you. As you may have heard from your supervisor, we wolf dogs are hopelessly undermanned at this moment. I should be at the site with you, overseeing the operation, but because we are un undermanned, I have to be someplace else, carrying out a mission on my own. In the meantime, I'll be using a cuckoo, a patrol robot developed by our employer, Vulture Corp, to instruct you from there. And if not available, and if I'm not available, you're to follow the supervisor he brought you. Report your arrival to the supervisor. That's my first instruction. Over and out. Ah, there you are. It seems you've already talked to the commander of the wolf dog, so your new code name is Sharpie, huh? Yes, yeah, supervisor. I've got to tell you, he's an insensitive and inconsiderate man. Do you think so? I like the code name. 
Hope you don't mind me calling you Harper from now on. If you say so, sure. I keep that code name. Good. That man trainer may look like. Look it, but he's good at what he does at a loyal corporation. I hope you two will get along. He's good and loyal. I wish he was the same to women. But don't get too comfortable with him. He's probably not happy that some supervisor has shown up all of a sudden to meddle in his team business. Hmm. You all most likely have seen my videos with Flavia, and you know that I hate this bitch. And she, she's such a two-faced bitch. Act nice and everything around this one. And a bitch around Olivia. I might butt heads with him for a while over control of his team. I brought you with me in case that happens. Most times you can follow his instructions just like the others. But if something happens, I want you to follow my orders only. I'm glad I have you with me. Let's get down to business, Harvey. So let me give you your first mission. A few hours ago, Dimensional Monster showed up here in their game of Cinerny. The closer net team named the Black Lambs responded to the situation. The Black Lambs, I like that name. Maybe it's because I like money. <laughs> oh, suppose units like the Wolf Dogs usually double check the areas that the unions close the teams clear. They collect the remains of Dimensional Monsters or el eliminate remaining Dimensional Monsters to ensure safety. Ah. <sighs> We disposers do the same thing wherever we go, and it's boring. It's boring, but necessary. We do want the Vulture Corp business to see. Now, please go carry out your disposal mission at Gangnam Station. Unmanned remain collectors will follow you to collect the remains of the monsters you take care of. Now, please make a sortie. Finally, I get to see you dance for the first time in a long time. Yes, yeah, has been a long time. You know, last time I kind of lost a leg. Oh, by the way, Trainer said he has a gift for you. He said it's a souvenir. Go and get it. <laughs> this lies of communication. Did you come to get your souvenir, Harpy? This is your souvenir. Take it. Oh, thank you for the gift, Trainer. May I ask what's in it? This souvenir is what the Union gives to new closers. According to the rules, you would have never received it. But there are times when the Union gives these to the disposal unit through unofficial routes. We could say it's a price we charge for giving them non-standard gear for their closers to unofficial routes. Well, that's it. I was looking forward to something more romantic, like booze, for instance. It's a lot more useful than booze. Inside the souvenir box, you'll find a small box, and inside that small box, you need a smaller box. Every time you gain the same amount of <laughs> experience, you'll get open. So it's a, um, Matrioska. It's a Matrioska in the form of box, which gives me rewards every time I become stronger. I understand. This box is designed to encourage your growth. So this box feeds off the blood of my enemies. And as long as I murder more enemies, I will continue to gain more gifts from it. Well, if you put it that way, I have to accept it. I appreciate it, but next time I also appreciate something more alcoholic as well. There won't be a next time. Don't get your hopes up. That's it. You may go back to your work. Ooh. Oh, is this the last one? to increase the health of that. Alright. Let's keep moving. Right through the air. Alright, 
Anything else? Boss area? Man, that went by quick. I think every character other than Seiha is just easy to use. Seiha has like only like a brute force type playing style, which is really weird because I would imagine since he has a sword, he'll be like, like it feels like I'm playing with Cloud from um, Final Fantasy, like, like Final Fantasy IV. Nah, really, like Final Fantasy Seven. I don't, cause Kyle wasn't really in here. So yeah. <laughs> Tip, Yuri rules. Yeah, I'll show again for the rest of today. So I just need to get to twenty, which shouldn't be difficult. Uh. Uh, I can't get out of this. There we go. Okay, get up out of it. Nip lies of communication. I have an order for you. That woman over Dr. Jun has asked the Vulture Corps to test out our new tool that has developed. You can read this if you want. I've read this before. And it's basically TLDR. They want us to walk over to her, get a pet, come back. That's not any different dialogue from that's just generic dialogue right there. Junk conversion season one is here. I really do want to get some outfits. Yes. You must be the disposal friend of Ultra Corp. You said your name is Harvey, right? Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Jung for the Department of Technology. I develop tools that are helpful to you guys in the field. The Vulture Corp and the Union have a cooperation agreement, so I'll be supporting you and your team with technical stuff. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Dr. Jung from Union. Well, how can I help? Huh, you're an impatient one. All right, let's get to the point. Are you by any chance interested in pets? A pet, huh? Come think of it, I never had one. It would be nice if you could begin to develop some interest. My department at the Union has developed a new support robot for closers. And in short, it's a robot that grows. And this pro prototype is shaped like a pet animal to make it more appealing to the users. That's why the developers are calling it a pet. There will be a wider variety of pets later on. Pets are produced here at the lab in egg form for these eggs hatchlings are born and then they grow into their adult form. They're the ultimate and nanite based androids. Equipped with self-learning AI, they're... I wonder how would this go with the um, closer that's a android? You can read this if you want. Pause it if you need to. It's, it's the same exact thing. So you want me to help you with your experiment? Um, okay, I might as well as raise it well since you've been so generous. I hope some elegant darling creature hatches out of this. Oh, what is this? Wolf dog pet container, black lamb's pet container. <gasps> oh, I get both? No, I, ha I have to select one. So I get to choose now. Oh, that's interesting. And now I have a child companion. Alright, um, my inventory needs to open this. I'm at level 11, so I should be able to reach level 20 in a while. You can use some costumes to change the character and try different looks. Yes, I know. Okay. Trainer's welcome box. Oh, 
Oh, I'm so using this. Three star midnight favorites. The wings! Call it the wings of rebellion, if you will. I've been so addicted to um, Persona 5. It's such a good game. I really have to play it on the channel, but I still never went through and completed Persona 1 on the channel. Have these. Ah! <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this. This is time limited. Ow! Okay. Okay, I want to kind of move this so I can see. They gave you full set. Oh, this is great. Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. 50 days. This is for 50 days. I'm playing this character for now on for like the next 50 days every single time I get on. I'm going to be using this character until my, um, my fatigue mater like maxes out. Good job completing your first mission. You're reliable. Keep up the good work. It's a good day for business. The robot started to collect the remains of the dimensional monsters you took care of. You can let them handle that and move on to another area to collect more remains. A device called a face pencil, which prevents the appearance of dimensional gates, is installed near here. A while ago, some dimensional monsters showed up near it, and the Black Lions responded to the situation. Dimensional monsters sprang up near the suppressor? Whoa, that must have been surprising. It must have thrown this whole area into chaos. Not at all. The Black Lamb took care of them quickly, and the Union controlled the information before it was leaked to the media. Oh, yes, that's boring. Anyway, there are a few dimensional monsters still roaming around the suppressor. There are probably remains of dead dimensional monsters there, too. I'd like you to go there and round up the remnants. But before that, you'll have to acquire a pass from the closer who is currently in charge of safety of the kingdom. I already told him about us, so you shouldn't have a problem getting it, but you'll be dealing with a closer from the Union. Please try to call not to cause any problems. Trouble. Now, please go. To rank A, closer to Tai Kim, who is currently in charge of the safety of gain and emergency pass. This is such a good outfit! I'm a special agent of Tai Kim. What are you? How dare you run for. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I usually don't yell at such beautiful ladies like yourself. Are you looking for shelter? I can go all the way there with you if you want. <laughs> How kind of you, but no matter where it is, it, isn't it too early to go all the way? You better slow down a bit. I'm a phase user too. Stop being rude or you'll be sorry. Huh? You're a phase user too? Wait, are you are you a disposer? Yes, I've just been dispatched to this new team, so you probably didn't read about me in a document. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I didn't read about such beautiful women in documents. So why don't you tell me more about you? <laughs> ho ho! If you're going to be asking personal questions, you should introduce yourself first. Hey, don't be so difficult. You were sent to the disposing unit because you committed a crime. You'd be better <laughs> be nice to me. I'm a ranking agent. I could put a good word for you so your sentence could be reduced. Ah, but what you just said isn't nice. Don't be so stubborn about this. What's good for me is good for you. Just listen to me at... Wait, what are you holding? Is that my diary? You said you wanted to know more about me, ranking agent. I'm a thief. Ah, your handwriting is terrible. What's this you wrote here? Phase Force... Deprivation? G give it! Give it to me! It's none of your business! Okay, I'll give it back to you. But I'm keeping your pass, I now belong with your diary. Nice to meet you, Reggae Agent. You stole my pass too? Fine! But don't get close to me again, Gotti! <laughs> you received a pass from you, your agent? Oh, I like her so much. But not everything went smoothly, you know what I mean. Oh, did you stoop into my private life? That's true. We disposers have no private life. Even if that were the case, what you did was not appropriate. Still in the union agent's belongings, you're bold, aren't you? Ho oh, ho, sorry, it's a force of habit. 
Yes, it's the reason you were sent to the supposed unit. Even after you lose your freedom, you still didn't learn your lesson, did you? Keep doing that and maybe I'll have to teach you. You mean by using the Dimension Oppressor Generator choker around my neck? There are plenty of other ways to rehabilitate someone. Oh, that's exciting. I can't wait to try them all. Now I'm convinced you have problems. <laughs> your training will be my first priority as soon as I'm done with the matter at home. Hand. This is a warning. Keep running your mouth like that and you will be disciplined severely. That's the only warning you will get. Now let me be brief on your next mission. <laughs> oh, I think she's a masochist. Yes, I learned that the word is called masochist because in a bunch of other videos I was calling a masochist, but I'm not one, so I wouldn't know how to say it properly. Here are the orders, listen up. Now that you have your pass, you can enter the residential area with your suppressor installed. Your next mission is to round up the remnants of dimensional monsters there. As soon as you're done, Vulture Code will send some robots to collect your remains. So go to the Yolks of Morda and round up the remnants of dimensional monsters. Okay. They have another one. They have another dress. That's so nice. I like this one better though because this is like a war, like a war dress. Just straight up about to go murder some people. Oh, these combos flow together so smooth. All right, let's keep moving. up again. I think this th how they should do um how they should get people to play new characters in their games that they make it though. Cause this is good. Like they all um, have it where like they will reward you for playing with new characters instead of just playing with just just sticking with your same old character. Oh just just oh this is great. Oh, that was the entire mission. Look at my rank. 1,432. Go ahead and head back. Okay. It's high. What the? It's you. Hold it right there. Try anything stupid, I won't go easy on you, no matter how pretty you are. Stay right, right where you are. I've got instructions for you. I've got instructions for you, lady thief. See the cart over there? <laughs> it's only as a woman. She's quite attractive. She was asked to leave this place by the special unit commander who came here with me, but I sent that captain somewhere else. It wasn't hard. I just used my connection with the higher ups. <laughs> In other words, I'm the sorry she's still running her business here. Oh, how kind of you. Stop creeping towards me. I'm not going to let you steal anything this time. Anyway, I've helped her and she keeps turning me down. I'm thinking she needs a reality check. Won't you go threaten her to take her cart someplace else? And then I'll show up and save her from you. She'll be grateful that she'll do anything I ask. So go tell her that you will destroy her cart if she doesn't move. Got it? Uh, that's a little bit childish, don't you think? <laughs> you don't have to act so childish to let me know that you want to be friends with me. Shut up! I don't want you! I hate unpredictable women like you. Oh, you were quick to turn me down. Usually it's the other way around. J just shut up and go with that woman and do as I say. I'll follow you soon. <laughs> Welcome to Fox's food cart. Ah, by the looks of you, I can tell you're a closer. Like those black lambs, right? Nice to meet you. I'm Suzanne. I own this food cart. Fox's food cart. Haha. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Harpy. Oh, by the way, <clears throat> this chicken's here is good. Would have been better if it was too spicy, though. 
When did you pick up that skewer? Oops, sorry. I guess you could say I got sticky fingers. Let me eat one more. Sure, but uh, you're going to pay for them, right? Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't have any money right now. Oh, but that man over there, Katai Kim, probably has plenty of cash. Let me check if he has any. What are you trying to do? I'm not going to condone criminal behavior. If you don't have money, then I'll let you eat on the tab this time. You're fighting for us. It's the least I can do. Oh, you're a very kind lady. All right, I'll tell you something in exchange for your food. As Katai Kim told me to threaten you, his plan is to put you in trouble so he can show up and save the day. That way, he'll win your heart or something. But that sounds like such a boring script. I've decided not to be part of it. How? Are you sure you could tell me this? What if Asia Katai gets angry at you? Don't worry about that. I just I just hate getting involved in boring things. I see. I mean, thank you for telling me. I'm glad we met, Harpy. Ho ho ho. So am I, Suzanne. It's a good day for business. She ha she covers so much difference because she's taller. There is an actual difference between her running, Seha's running, and like the other teenagers because they have shorter legs. I re I just realized that because this is my first time playing with an actual tall character. I haven't played with um Jay, and I think that's the only other tall character on the closers um, for the Black Sheeps. Ah, <sighs> Harpy, Eskatai was here a moment ago screaming. He wasn't happy that you didn't follow his orders. What? Should I follow such ridiculous orders, Supervisor? No. He has no authority over you. His order was for a petty, selfish reason, too. I wouldn't have followed them either. He's incorrigible. <coughs> what alarmed me, though, was that you made contact with the civilian. I want you to avoid meeting civilians unless it's absolutely necessary. Don't worry, Supervisor. He was being so rude that I just messed with him for a little while. I understand, but please don't do that again, okay? All right, let's move on to our next mission. Collection robots have been dispatched to the residential area as well as the Gangnam Station. They can collect the monsters' remains here. I want you to focus on routing up dimensional monsters. Your next destination is a shop mall called Times Square Mall. The Black Lambs were there recently. Please head over there and round up the remnants of dimensional monsters. Anyway, guys, I think it's about time for me to call for this. We'll be back later. I'm going to go get something to eat because I'm kind of starving. So. I'll catch you guys later and bye bye. You got me like